Nanto artist Hong Hao Lun has found a way to depict his home using elements of the land itself. His process involves using different soils from around the country to produce different hues and produce art. Hong learned to appreciate art from his father, who is a temple painter. But Hong's own artwork is in a style that's uniquely his. Now he is teaching his techniques to young people in the hope of seeing his art style get passed on. Tonight in our Sunday special report, we follow Hong to the outdoors where he gathers materials and into his workshop where he creates his unique art. At Maolu River, where Nanto and Zhanghua counties meet, an artist draped in a soil-colored jacket walks toward the water, buckets in hand. We usually push aside the topsoil and then dig down about 15 to 20 centimeters to dig out the clean soil. In the past, I traveled around Taiwan proper and the outlying islands to collect soil, rock and ore samples. Altogether, I have nearly 100 different colored samples. Worldwide, there are a total of 12 different soil classes, and we have 11 of them in Taiwan. To most people, soil is only used for planting things and for water retention. However, for artist Hong Hao Lun, soil is also a material for making art. This painting by Hong Hao Lun, titled Zhuo Shui River, perfectly captures the fierceness of that river's windy shores, where sand is blown about in the air. The work's materials lend to its immersiveness. There are many pieces of shale and slate in the Zhuo Shui River. I left them in there on purpose to give it different textures. There are coarse, fine, and extremely fine textures in there. So how do soil and art become one in Hong Haolun's hands? Watch as he begins to work his magic. After the organic matter and the large particles in the soil are separated layer by layer through sieving, a beautiful dark green begins to emerge. However, in this muddy state, the soil is not yet ready to be used for art. After a bit of time, it starts to settle, and then you can extract the finer parts. With each bucket, it gets finer. This here is coarser, and you can feel the grains. This one is finer, and so it doesn't have that greeny feeling to it. It doesn't get carried off by the water. I'll just let it settle, and then pour off the top layer of water. That will leave a colored paste, which will turn into a powder after it dries. We can then use that powder for painting. Following Hong Hao Lun into his workshop, we see pastes and powders in various colors, all extracted from soil. Each color has a story behind it for Hong Hao Lun. This one from Puli is really beautiful. This is the closest one in my collection to the soil in France. What makes it so precious is that it can't be collected again. Firstly, there are legal limitations involved. And secondly, where I dug it up was an empty plot at the time, which now has a building on it. This one here is a white clay from Jinmen. This one was also collected from an empty plot. However, turning soil into colored powder to be used for painting involves a degree of effort, and it's not something just anyone can do. The ability to make a painting material from soil is all in the actions. It's like making stir-fried ice cream. 
You have to make the material uniform, and in essence, it involves pressing different substances together. After you press it, it still has some graininess to it. You then use a pestle and a scraper and concentrate the mixture in one spot, pushing it all toward the middle. It will make less and less sound and get increasingly smoother. In the end, it will have a somewhat bouncier feel to it. Hong Ha Lun's sensitivity toward art first took root during his childhood. San Xuan Temple in Nanto County is where Hong Ha Lun first learned about art. His father, Hong Shu Dong, is the temple's resident artist and was also Hong Ha Lun's first teacher. In the past, I did all the painting in the temple, like the color here under the eaves. There are some paintings of clothing, graded clothing of deities, as well as gradated clouds, some of which I painted as well. Hong Haolun learned from his father that to be a good artist, he had to learn to do a variety of tasks, which motivated him to learn how to make his own painting materials. Although I studied Western painting and oil painting in school, during my studies I would often reflect on my identity and my work at the temple with my father. I thought about how we painted traditional subjects and questioned our use of mainstream painting materials. I thought, if I was born in and grew up in Taiwan, how should I engage in artistic creation? I was filled with doubt at the time. Hong Haolun then began using the land to paint the land, developing a unique style all his own. For example, this painting of Elan was made using soil from Elan. Around its periphery are stones from Elan that were crushed into a finer texture. What the whole painting is trying to convey is a sense of Elan's environmental factors. In a bid to better process soil for use in his art, in 2020, Hong Haolun turned to National Taiwan University professor Xu Zhen Yi. Xu helped Hong Haolun improve his understanding of the chemical processes involved. In the past, he may have been aware of what color he wanted to extract from the soil. However, after we spoke, he had a better understanding of grain size, as well as its coarseness or fineness. He also better understood soil viscosity and the different degrees of that. Xu also shared with Hong Haolun his advice on achieving certain color results with soil. I told him that the soil for these blue-gray hues doesn't drain well. It retains water for a long time before it returns to its original state. However, if you extract painting material from it, as soon as that gets exposed to the air, it will slowly oxidize and turn yellow. So I advise that if he wants to use it, he needs to see if he can find a way to prevent it from oxidizing. If he can, then he can use it for painting. With an improved understanding involved in the processes of painting with soil, Hong Haolun decided to pass on his knowledge and techniques to young people to create the next generation of artists. On the campus of Taichung's Daming High School, Hong Haolun teaches a group of students about the soil. After this soil has gone through a long period of oxidation, it will become a reddish-orange color. This is all part of the process. This is the color here. When you guys finish making your painting material, the color should be like this. It's a little bit brown, somewhere between khaki and brown. From digging soil to extracting colored powder, Hong Haolun takes the students by hand through the whole process. It's a DIY art activity that also gives the students a sense of connection between the land and the canvas. We normally use chemical-based paints. This opportunity to paint with natural materials, especially those I made myself, is pretty great. 
通过我们的双手做一种转换，变成。I just want to share with these students that they can take the soil and put it through a transformation, letting it become art. This project of mine, aimed at getting at the primary colors of Earth, is a kind of social practice. I want this to be a lifestyle. I live a circular life that involves planting, harvesting, making paper, and painting on it, and then sharing my creations. 